sorry that every week uh, my background changes i have been trying to organize things i actually promised you guys my wardrobe tour and i am working on that i just had so much going on i wanted to tell you guys that i have been in a little accident with my bed we had this morphe bed and i stood up to get something and then the whole bed fell on me i am totally fine it actually happened maybe a month ago but since then everything has been so crazy because uh we had to disassemble the bed send it back and with this bed i had two units with shelves and drawers that's where i kept basically my entire room like besides the wardrobe that i got and then i had to stay for like a whole month without uh, a proper you know place to keep everything so i had my knits and everything in boxes for a really long time so now i'm finally starting to see things um, together and that's when i can finally organize my house and see everything neat and clean and nice so i would definitely be sharing this video with you guys very soon before it gets too warm and then nobody wears knits again <laughs> but in the meantime i wanted to show you what i got from Cezanne. actually the first time i got something from october look at this super cute belt i'm going to be sharing with you all the details and i will also show you what else i got like my latest Cezanne purchase but in the meantime i wanted to talk to you about this gorgeous lipstick that i'm wearing and also the um blush which is from marriage i have been working with marriage i had um, reviewed some of their products before and i actually bought a lot of them myself because i just really really love the brand and i want to thank them today for gifting me their their two new colors for blush and also for lipstick the lipstick is the one that i'm wearing which is called fashion and it's a super smooth application look how gorgeous this color is it's like a pink mauve purplish brown like it's the perfect combination for my skin tone i just feel like it really brightens up my face and i absolutely love how smooth this is it's not matte so it has this moist um feeling it's just really really nice like a smooth application and i feel like once you you put once it doesn't feel super saturated so if you like your lipstick to be a little bit um you know more muted or just more like a lip gloss i would just apply once but if you want it to be you know it's buildable so if you want it to be a little bit darker you just apply again and it's perfect i have another one that i actually bought myself which is a beautiful nude color i really love and they sent me this new blush i've talked about this blush a lot of times and most of the time that you guys see me with makeup i am wearing these because they are the perfect healthy touch I feel like when you wear this, this new color is so beautiful. It's called a fox. So when you wear this, I just feel like it gives you an instant glow and it just makes you a lot healthier than without the blush. Even if you don't have a ton of makeup, just wearing this would definitely do the job. I had one um, before, actually I wore this, I used this so much, called Terracotta. So they are pretty similar shade. I really love those shades. I don't like like a super bright pink. So this is the Fox and this one is called Terracotta. The Terracotta is definitely more on the brown side. And this one is the perfect mauve color. I feel like when you apply this one, it also shows more. This feels more like a bronzer to me. And this one is just like a perfect blush, like a healthy skin. Beautiful. I love it. So it's super easy to apply. You just have to, you can, you can just do this on your face and come with your finger and do like that. Or you can simply leave it like this but i feel like this one's more saturated so i don't have to put a lot of product and it already shows very well this one is not as saturated this one feels like a great bronzer so i love to wear this when i'm more like tan because i think it makes more sense and this one whenever i'm feeling too pale or i don't have a lot of makeup and i just do a pick me up i use this so i really love their products these i had showed you guys before i actually have a big line now and i bought them like this one they gifted me but i went ahead and i bought this stick it's like a foundation this product is really good it feels like a concealer foundation and powder like all at the same time and it's just perfect when you blend with this brush they have this brush i also bought this one it's not sponsored 
I am just telling you guys because I really love this. I love how the shape is. It just makes it so easy to spread the product and it's just really, really amazing. So I am leaving the link below if you guys, you guys should definitely check it out. It's an amazing product. And when you buy for the first time, it comes with this little pouch, which is so cute. And you can just, you know, use as a little bag. You can just put in, in, a, in your like travel bag, like a luggage or your own touch. And I think it's such a cute touch. It's like a velvety touch, you see? And I just love it. So I cannot recommend anymore because I just love, love, love Merit. Okay, so for today, today's video, I'm actually sharing the first item, which I'm seeing here something I had not noticed before. Mm, I might exchange this, but it's this belt from October, which is a Cezanne's line for men, and they have really cute stuff. Sometimes I just get things for myself, <laughs> you know, like I bought this along with a shirt which i'm gonna show you guys next week and i was just lucky with the sizing because their smallest size is the 85 and it's perfect for me it's my exact size i'm always in between 80 and 85. this one's made in portugal it's a really nice feel it's in um suede as you can see and it's a really pretty shade of pink they have other colors too i saw a green one a blue one burgundy they're so beautiful and Cezanne doesn't really have a belt in this color, so you guys know that I'm not a huge fan of pink, but just this pink felt like a really good, um, good color to have. I think it's just beautiful. The next one that I wanted to share, look at those, this gorgeous box. The box is everything. I mean, I love what's inside, but the box is just everything. So gorgeous, I love the details. Those are the Vicky loafers, and... I got mine in a crew, which I think is a great color, especially for now, um, spring and summer. They are extremely comfortable. These shoes, I'm not, not kidding, they're just the most comfortable shoes ever. And I got these, I actually have, I have the Gucci loafers, the Prince Town, they're so old already, but I wear this just so much, so much. It's been like years and years and it still looks great. I mean, it is a little beat up, but I love it but I don't really wear design for work, so I really wanted to have a white pair for whenever I'm wearing a crew pants. I just like how they go together, and then I decided to try these. So I'm in between eight and a half and nine US, and I went with the 39, which is already a size down. That would mean eight on the website. And it's a great size. I, I feel like the length is perfect for me. My shoes are still okay inside. The only thing I noticed is that there is a little bit of a side gap here on my foot. I don't know. I do not have narrow foot, so I'm not sure why this is happening. Um, when you look at it, it actually doesn't feel. I, see, I think it's just because it's so supple, like the leather is so soft and so nice that this happened. But happens. But if you put socks inside, like those liners, I don't think that would happen. And I would definitely say size down if you're in between sizes because this runs really big. They have it in red and they have also in black and they're made in Portugal as well and it's 100% leather so very very comfortable, buttery soft, super easy to put in and to put on and, and off. This is well structured but this does not rub on your foot and it does not hurt at all so really an amazing pair of shoes. I love these. The next item I actually... <laughs> I have been waiting for this shirt for, I don't know, months. I saw this the first time in their fall collection and they said they were going to release um, this year, like 2023, and it's finally here. So I think the blouse is beautiful. The color is more like a beige color. It's definitely not a crew. You can see against my um, pillow here. And I really like the color. I do not think it's bad on me. And I love the details. It, the, the fabric is cotton and linen, I'm gonna confirm. But the only thing that I don't like is the price. I just felt like it was a little bit too much. This is 51% linen and 49% cotton. And the embroidery is polyester. So I love, love, love the blouse, like I said. I just don't love the price so much. 
I think for almost $200, this was 170 or something. And when you add the taxes here in New York and US, it just goes almost to $200. And I'm okay paying that amount when it's silk or when it's something very special like a knit. However, just for linen and cotton, I didn't feel like I would wear this shirt enough to justify the price. So this one I'm definitely returning. I love, like I said, the style and everything. And I got this one in size 36. It's very, very comfortable, size four US. Very comfortable to wear. I don't think it's too bulky at the bottom. I did feel like the sleeves were a little bit too short for me, but I would just, you know, lop the sleeves like this to make it more flattering. But yeah, it's beautiful. I just didn't feel like 100% about paying that amount on a shirt, especially being in New York. I feel like it's always so cold here. I would not wear this enough to justify. And the last item I have to review is the Carlo vest, the Carlo jacket. Okay, I've been waiting for this forever. I missed when they launched this and I could not find this at all. Like I was looking for it every time, all the time, and it was always sold out. This one is definitely a keeper. I am so in love with this piece. I think it's very unique. That's a piece I'm not going to wear a lot, I know, but I can justify this one. So that, that's how it works, right? You look at the piece and you see it in your wardrobe and you either love it or you don't love it. So the Carlo vest, I think it's a beautiful and like I said, very unique piece. This one is in 60% um, wool, virgin wool and 20% polyamide. 10% opaca and 10% mohair. So when you touch, um, honestly, I don't really feel any scratch, but once you put on like sometimes on my neck, I do feel a little bit of the scratchness. It's not too bad though. I could definitely wear this without anything um, to protect my skin. I love how the cut is. I think this is the best part of the jacket. You guys will see it on me. It has this trapeze cut, which makes it so flattering. And I feel like you can, just fold this, you know, and make it a different way to wear that. Just, you can put it um, all closed, you know, the buttons closed, you can leave it open. I think it's a great piece for spring. I think you can totally wear this during the summer for cooler days and also fall. It's a beautiful yellow color, not too bright. So I would definitely recommend if you guys like that kind of, of, of um, clothes, I think it's very unique and such a beautiful piece to have in your wardrobe. So this one is a keeper. I am still deciding on the Vicky loafers because of that gap that I mentioned. And I'm definitely keeping the belt. And next week I'm going to be sharing with you some of the um, archives piece that I got. So those will be the last ones that I review. It's the this this one, the Curtis um, jumper, the Kara shirt, which I got into colors and the Tammy skirt. So I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to check out my description box so you can see the Merit products and you can go to the website. They really have a lot of beautiful products. And if you are a minimalist in terms of makeup like me and you don't want to wear a ton of makeup, I think Merit has like the perfect um, variety of pieces, you know, of makeup products that you can use and just have the perfect makeup. Um, for every day especially so um thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy the video i am on instagram mila in new york so you guys can definitely find me on there you will see lots of outfit inspiration and i'm going to be sharing everything that i get or things that i already own especially a little bit more of my personal life i think now that we have been making this connection like for a long time i feel like you guys are my friends so I do, um, I would love to share a little bit more of my life. When I started this channel, Mila in New York, I actually had the idea of showing around New York a little more, but I ended up not doing because Cezanne just took my heart and I kept just doing fashion reviews, which I absolutely love to do, but I just want to share a little bit more. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I am also, getting some requests and i would love to hear from you what kind of videos you would like me to post so again thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye bye